G'day guys, welcome to my first garden video. This is my second hobby. I just want to take you through my garden just to show you what it's like. This is all the, I guess, the vegetable part of the garden. So stepping out to the backyard, it's a Melbourne, Australia garden in winter, July. So it's going to be a lot of cold winter leafy greens. Uh, next to the sun lounge here, we've got a little garden bed made of eco wood. Got some broccoli. See, I harvested a fit a bit already. On the right, some uh, purple broccoli coming up. That's pretty cool. There's a normal varieties there, which are just starting to come out. Got some Russian red kale, some Tuscan uh, kale. On the right, stairs are constructed. But over here we have a super pot, which has many different uh, outs here. So at the top we have broccoli. Further down, some more broccoli. Uh, coriander, spinach, some lettuce. So I'm not sure why the broccoli at the top is a bit smaller, even though it gets more sun. I think maybe it's just too hot, but it's it's, it's pretty cold here in winter. I don't know why actually. Uh, down here we have uh, basil. Oh yeah, basil mint, and uh, what's that? Chocolate mint. Got the basil mint because basil dies can't survive the cold here in Melbourne so I use that as a substitute for basil and cooking that's some garlic I just threw in a pot uh, more broccoli over here I just uh, turned over this bed because I don't know I think it was just really old all the soil was pretty bad so I, I dug it all up and just planted kale about three weeks ago so just some more kale over here Russian red kale and some lettuce get a snowy and then we've got uh, some other bearer, got some Vietnamese mint down below, then some normal variety mint, pretty uh, looking pretty shoddy. Hasn't had a good watering over here. Just a random cow on a pot. This is a Tahitian lime tree. Some non-vegetable trees. And going down here, I've built a little uh, stepway to the pool used to be full of uh, grass and sometimes dog poo so it's, this part's new like about two months old uh, a lot of uh, creeping thyme thyme and stuff hopefully it would start growing around the rocks and be looking pretty cool so just uh, here below we've got a few beds mostly spinach as you can see all along uh, some broccoli here edible flowers um, some purple bok choy. Uh, those hats there is actually uh, is actually a sensor thing, which scares away dogs and birds. So makes some high pitched sound. Here's some sorrel, some red leaf lettuce, green leaf lettuce, a lot more spinach. It's easy easy to grow. I love them. These, these are actually from seed uh, from last year. There was a spinach tree that went to bolt. This all came from one spinach plant. All these little spinach all the seeds. Um, so some more broccoli. Then first tree here. So I'm making very economical use of space here. Just uh, as a garden bed after those, that wooden garden bed. That's a, a Tahiti and lime cross with a kaffir lime. Kaffir lime is the one with the jewel leaves. Can use that for a lot of cooking. We've got a Washington navel orange. These are all dwarf varieties by the way, so they'll pretty much get to almost the height of that garden bed and uh, over here I think this is a Japanese seedless mandarin pretty sure that's one of the senses mixture of uh, spinach that's blueberry aloe vera bay leaf tree for cooking and that is um, oh, what is that that's a uh, Valencia orange tree and that's a pear tree parsley what's this that's uh so oh, sheesh what's this that's it it's not sage that's um hmm what the hell <laughs> its name escapes me right now over there sage that's curry leaf plant um some kale this is uh not rosemary not sage what's the other one let's smell it 
Oh, what is that? Oregano. That's oregano. <laughs> Got it. Then, um, yeah, that's pretty much the main garden bed area towards the house. So lots of uh, veggie eating over here. I've got uh, lots of little lettuce leaves. I just let it go to the seed. Um, these are all peppers, chili peppers that I cut down for the winter. Then the capsicum, some kale, coriander, just random stuff. I'm going to pretty much redo this in spring summer and put in some more uh, uh, annual summer crops, maybe tomatoes and stuff. Over there we've got a pretty big olive tree. Um, don't really use it. I've pickled a few jars, but yeah, they're pretty much not my kind of uh, eating. So that's my back garden. So I'm going to the front garden, baby sandpit there. Pretty sparse here. Need to put in uh, some. I want to put a Japanese maple over there, an avocado tree over there shortly. But here's a garden bed. We've got some uh, beans, regular beans. Oh, not beans. Flava beans, fava beans, I think what you call it in USA. Uh, varieties of lettuce, um, Chinese cabbage, spring onions, onions companion planted in between, uh, kale, some more Chinese cabbage and lettuce. Very end here, we got some snow snow beans on the trellis. Uh, different variety of lettuce. Uh, that's pretty much it. And the left again, right here, are the beans, fava beans again. I want to put uh, tomatoes there uh, in the summer. Get a bit of nitrogen from the beans. And here's some shallots, um, some onions, brown onions, garlic, some uh, magnolias. So that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty uh, basic front yard at this stage. Uh, plan to do more with it soon. I'm starting an indoor garden as well. Uh, this is new to this year, so I've never done this before. I'm starting in seeds indoors now in the winter. It's really cold. I've got the vent running in, the ducted heating behind into this, and I've got a heated mat inside. You can't probably see much, can you? Jeez. Let me turn the lights on for a sec. It's on a timer. I'll turn on one of the lights here, but you can see here there's uh, LED lights. We've got some. I don't know if you can see this, cucumbers, tomato, little tomato seedlings coming up. That's a giant tomato tree. That's a cherry tree tomato. Those are uh, eggplants, white eggplants. The black beauty eggplants in the second last row won't start. It's not hot enough for some reason. Uh, that's ricotta, ricotta chili, chili plant, quite rare. And it's a pineapple chili plant, uh, all seedlings here. I put about three in a spot, but none seem to be sprouting yet. Um, I think I just can't get the temperature right. Um, I need to get a temperature measure, but apparently they like to have it at least uh, 20, around 25 degrees Celsius range, which I am keeping the last few days, but oh yeah, we'll see. Welcome to my office. It's going to have an indoor garden as well, but uh, here we've got a tent. Uh, pretty hard to see, but this is a pretty huge one. It's pretty tall at two meters by two meters uh, Empty now, but I plan to put all the uh, crops I grow in the small tents. I've got a few of those smaller seedling tents uh, Grow them in here till it's uh, Good to plant outside just to get a head start. So by the time spring comes I have a already established plant um, Funny thing <laughs> while researching all this Pretty much every single uh, in in grow in grow video you can find or tutorial is about growing weed. But uh, I'm a bit of a dork, so I don't uh, do that. I grow vegetables inside. So yeah, that's my introduction to all the gar uh, garden vegetable stuff in the house. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on how things are growing. I guess if you're interested in the future. Uh, so gaming wise, nothing to play right now. So uh, I'll put some videos up once I have something to play. See you around.